Hey there guys, this is Pharaoh 2091 and welcome back to Let's Play Blackwell Epiphany. Last time we left off, we got access to a bunch of stuff needed to solve this mysterious case. So what's going on with uh, George and Leah and Grace Church and all this stuff. And the first thing we did was uh, check out uh, George's apartment and when we are on the roof here we saw a ghost. Apparently George's neighbor. And it's like, I really wasn't expecting to see that but um... Let's see if we can try talking to her again, or... I don't know here. Huh. Locked. Okay, well, Joey? Joey, could you come... You what come here, it? and, uh... You see if you can speak with, uh, whoever that ghost lady is. Let's see, yeah, there she is. This place is very barren. Whatever this note says, <clears throat> it's too dark to read it. Yeah, it definitely is. Oh, my dog's barking. Yeah, I can... Barely read. I can't read anything. Maybe that looks like a Roman no, Roman no, Roman numeral up there. Don't know what it could be though. Why was my dog barking so much? I, you know, I always looking out the window. Let's see if I can read that now. It says, "I know about Heather," and it's signed by someone named Jay. I know about Heather. Jay. Don't know, like, don't know anything about that. No point in leaving that way. I can only leave with Red, and she can't get in here. Hi there. I'm sorry, have we met? Kind of. I think you met my friend earlier. I see. You're both looking after George's place. Yeah, something like that. So you actually live here, uh, so to speak? Yes. Why are you so surprised? Well, this place is kind of, well, empty. I live alone. That's not what I mean. Look around. There's nothing in here. What on earth are you talking about? <sighs> Never mind. So, about this place. I might not have the highbrow taste that George has, but my furniture is just as serviceable as his. And twice as comfortable, I might add. <clears throat> Who are you, if you don't mind me asking? Cute. Very cute. Huh? Wait, you're serious? Well, isn't this delicious? It's so rare that I get to be the mysterious one. My name's Joey. Joey Malone. Why don't you tell me yours? You honestly don't know who I am. I'm afraid not. I admit, I'm fascinated. I know your name, but you don't know mine. It's not often that I'm in this position. So, are you gonna tell me or what? I think not. I wanna savor this for just a little while longer. So what is this? You famous or something? Or something. I know about Heather. Do you know anything about this? About what? This note. The one on your floor. I have no idea. It has nothing to do with me. Then what's it doing here? I have no idea. Okay, okay, relax. The note is signed J. Who's J? I have no idea. And I don't know anything about any note. Are you sure you don't know anything about this note? No. I don't know anything about any note. Please stop asking about it. Come on, you know my name. It's only fair. I can't tell if you're being genuine or if you're just playing with me. Why not both? Well, the night is young. See if you can figure it out. Hmm. Well, yeah, um, <clears throat> excuse me there. It seems that uh, we're, we are dealing with someone a little famous. I would think so anyway. I mean, her telling, oh, I've never been in this position before, blah, 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 so... I'm assuming it has to be someone important or or uh, famous or something, something or another. Could I ask you a couple questions? You don't even know my name, and you want to ask me questions? Well, maybe if you actually told me your name. <laughs> no. Like I said, this is way too much fun. Listen, it's really important that you tell me who you are. What on earth could be so important? It's complicated. No. No, I don't think so. I'm enjoying this way too much. Come on, what's your name? No, this is too much fun. You'll figure it out. Everyone recognizes me eventually. I was hoping that she would like break down and like get annoyed from us and eventually tell us her name, but it doesn't really work like that now, does it? Well, whoever you are, I'll see you around. Say hi to George for me, if you see him. Okay, well, we're gonna have to guess who the hell she is. It's gonna take a, uh, might take some work, but 
What can we do there? Uh, I think this is actually all there is we can do for <clears throat> George's apartment. Actually, I don't even know what the hell we did here. We got, oh, we got some dude's number, I believe. Oh, we got a new email, too. A couple, actually. Abbott Leaks exclusive. Did Frank Lyons really die, or was it just a cheap stunt? It's no secret that his well-publicized death catapulted his last film to the biggest box office earnings spot this, that weekend. So what really happened? Abbott Leaks intends to find out. Well, he is really dead, but, you know, whatever. <clears throat> so we looked into the Meehan girl. The picture matches the Jane, Jane Doe. We are trying to locate our friends and family. When you get to it, please submit a report so we can invoice you. Here's a copy of the case notes for your reference. Definitely take that. Thank you. Car file. All right. So Sam says I'm supposed to help you. I'm here at the station, so come by whenever. We also told the staff at George Austin's building to expect you. There's logic behind any of this. I don't see it. Palmer is the uh, officer that interrogated us earlier, so there's that. Um, so yeah, we got the car file. Please know it's the case going on. Um, I don't see how we can possibly match this or anything. So I'm gonna hold off on that. Um, this Michael person, that's something we get actually we let's we'll see if we can talk to this person right now. No answer. Damn. Okay, well that shut me up. Alright, so I think we're done here. Uh, oh. Well why would I want to go to the lobby? Actually there might be something there. Uh, maybe like a, a trigger event. Or maybe I can ask him about stuff. Hi. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yeah, maybe I just, I don't think I asked him about any of this yet. I don't know. Did George ever mention the Grace Group? Grace Group? Does it have to do with Grace Church? It might. Hmm. I know he often went to Grace Church services, but he never mentioned any Grace Group. Sorry. Did George know anyone named Michael? I'm afraid I don't know. Does this phone number look familiar to you? Hmm, no it doesn't. Sorry. Do you know who lived in the apartment across from George? I'm afraid not. I only started working here a few months ago. That apartment has been vacant the whole time. There are tons of case files listed here. I'm not going to ask about them one by one. Okay. Damn, I was kind of hoping that uh, the dude would have known about the lady there, but oh, to our luck, he's only been there for a few months. All right, I guess that's that. So uh, we'll go... Let's see, yeah, we'll go to the police station, talk to Palmer, and get the files we need from him, I guess. Don't think there's anything in the outside, so inside we go. Oh, it's you. Sam told me you'd be swinging by. Hi, Corey, was it? No, it's Officer Palmer. I'm sorry about Leah. Don't even go there. I don't care what you saw or what the evidence says. Leah wouldn't kill herself, and if she did, that she wasn't Leah anymore. So Durkin told me to speak to you? Yes, I heard. Congratulations, I guess. I don't know why you're so special, but orders are orders. You need any information from us, I'll see about getting it to you. But you talk to me, and only me. Understand? Perfectly. Is Detective Durkin around? I haven't seen him since yesterday. I'm sure he's wandering around somewhere. You seem to be taking Leah's death rather personally. The chief would agree with you. That's why I'm shackled behind this desk and set out there doing something. So are we good? Good? You don't think I still killed anyone, do you? I don't know what to believe. But Durkin vouches for you, and he now owes me a favor. A big one. So, I guess I come out ahead. So, what's the latest on George Austin? He was killed with a 22 caliber bullet. That's all we know so far. We're still talking to Leah's ex-husband, but he's got a pretty solid alibi. How did Kendra die? Was that ever established? I read the autopsy report. It was definitely a bullet wound. It went right through her shoulder. A clean hole all the way through. The coroner said that she bled to death, but could have survived if she was brought to a hospital right away. I don't understand this. Not at all. Did you know Emil Haskins at all? I don't know much. Just what Leah used to tell me. I got the impression he was a deadbeat. Always out of a job, always late with child support payments, things like that. 
Guess he doesn't have to worry about that stuff anymore. So what's the story with you and Leah? I get the impression you knew her pretty well. Yeah, I guess you could say that. I partnered with her back when I first joined the force. She taught me a lot. Everything, really. I owe her. She was a rock. She was a rising star. Why would she flip out like she did? I'm working on it, Corey. I really am. That's Officer Palmer, and I'm not holding my breath. You know, <clears throat> I doubt there's many officers that get that mad whenever you call by the first name. Whenever I understand there's that recognition of it, respect and everything, but at the same time, it's like, eh, you know, maybe you might want to calm down, but I guess there really are people out there who have that power and authority that will use it, you know, so what can you do there? Uh, I guess we can try to go through this, see what we can find out. George and Leah both were members of a self-help group. They called it the Grace Group. Oh yeah, Leah told me about that place. She did? Yeah, she didn't go into detail, but I know it meant a lot to her. She used to tell me that nobody could ever fall so far that they couldn't still reach for a helping hand. I'm not sure what that meant, but she used to say it all the time. You don't think it's relevant that both Leah and George went to this same self-help group? That group met over 20 years ago. But even still, the two of them were a couple. They did lots of things together. Went to the same restaurants, went to the same shows, slept in the same bed. So they went to the same church. It means nothing. Do you know anyone named Michael? Um, you're gonna have to be more specific than that. Does this phone number mean anything to you? Not really, but I can trace it for you. Trace it? Run the number, see who it belongs to. Within reason, anyway. Where'd you find it? I found it on George Austin's phone. Oh, we ran that number already. You did? Yeah. It belonged to Grace Church. Probably calling for donations or something. Yeah, or something. Hmm. Thanks anyway. Do you know if any of George Austin's neighbors died recently? It's not in any of the reports. Do you have a name? No, not yet. But she lived across from George. Can't you look it up that way? I can't, no. The way the system works, I can only look it up by the victim's name, not address. Sorry. There are tons of case files listed here. I already asked him about them. So apparently the number came from Grace Church. All right. So, yeah, it's Grace Church. Uh, something big must be happening there. Uh, I think that's all we can talk about at the moment. Well, I'd better go. Thanks for the help. Sure. Okay. So let's uh, head off to Grace Church, see what we can find there, because obviously there's something huge going there. Because, um, uh, yeah, they keep mentioning self-help group, but I'm not really sure about that. Weekend organ uh, It says or? Grace Church. It says, of course. We okay. Just want to see if there's anything new. Oh, well, here's uh, Father Ullman. Hi, remember me? Yes, and would you please keep your voice down? Sorry. I'm looking for information on the Grace Group. Grace Group? They used to meet here, in the basement. Some kind of self-help group? There are hundreds of so-called Grace Groups, and they all have meetings in the basement. You will have to be a bit more specific than that. I'm looking for- Grace- they there. You Do you know any Michaels? In my line of work, I know more than I can count. I checked with the police. This number belongs to a phone in this church. A man I'm looking for made a phone call from this number. His name is Michael. It's very important that I find him. I'm afraid I don't know who you're talking about. I am sorry. So there's this woman that might have died in a penthouse apartment. I'm afraid I don't know who you're talking There are tons. Are you sure you don't know anybody named Michael who made a call from this church? Quite positive. I really thought he was going to help us there, but uh, apparently not. Great. Um, oh, wait, here's this. The telephone that uses this number, where is it? Why would you need to know that? Michael used the phone. Maybe he left a clue behind when he did. And he could have used any one of a dozen offices in our administration wing. Really? Over a dozen? Yes. So, if you want to locate Michael Cooper, you'll have to find another way. Didn't you just say that you didn't know or... Who we were talking about, and you said, Oh, there's a lot of Michaels. Uh huh. Wait, Cooper? Pardon? You said Michael Cooper. Isn't that the gentleman you're looking for? No, I just said his name was Michael. So you did. A slip of the tongue. My apologies. It is quite late, and I'm tired. You need to tell me who Michael Cooper is. 
I told you I don't know any Michael Cooper. You need to tell me. I told you. That tactic ain't working, sweetheart. You need to come at this some other way. Come on, Joe. I'm trying to break him down, annoying him until he gives me an answer. Well. St okay, well, Michael Cooper, huh? Let's see if this good old uh, phone can come up with anything. Huh. So Michael Cooper was a priest. Interesting. Yes, apparently he was. So we have some pretty interesting information here, saying he's a theological uh, seminary alumni, attended nine two ninety six, currently based at unknown. Oh well, but he is a priest, so there is that. If the phone is nearby, it's not ringing. So, is there a way we can like look around? Uh, actually, take a look in the. Huh. Do I need to look at the book again? I don't need to. T I don't need. Okay, no. Just want to see. So we gotta look for this Michael Cooper person, and I don't think there's anywhere else we can go in the church yet. Anyway. Um, uh, I better. Hold on, real quick. Excuse. Yeah. Oh well, there you go. Michael Cooper. He's a priest too, isn't he? So. So, it's a pretty big coincidence, wouldn't you say? I... Um, Please stop lying to me. I'm not lying. You're not telling me the whole truth either, are you? I made a promise. He came to me scared, begging me to protect him, to give him sanctuary. He was ranting. I should have turned him away, but we roomed together at the seminary. We were close friends once. What could I do? You can take me to him. He's raving. He's mad. He, he says he's in a battle for his very soul. Is this true? Yes. Yes, it is. <sighs> he's in the school. It's closed for the winter break, so it seemed like a good a place as any to hide him. Here's a key. The entrance is around the corner. Please, do whatever you must. Just don't come back here. Don't worry. So, thrown out of a church. I suppose, with our record, it was only a matter of time. <sighs> the entrance to the school is around the block. Let's go. Jeez, that's rough. Seriously getting kicked out of a, a church, but, uh, I'm sure it's happened. I mean, yeah, I'm sure it's happened quite a bit, actually. So, uh, here we are at Grace School. Now, yeah, they said uh, uh, Michael Cooper there he, battling for his very soul. And yeah, well, considering what's been happening in this game so far, I wouldn't be surprised uh, if it's true. <laughs> um, I guess he's involved in this Grace Church. Maybe he's involved in this whole situation that we're trying to figure out. No need to pay attention to that. There aren't any cars out tonight. Uh, I'd better not. Yeah. Okay, well, eh, I don't know if I want to continue on or not. I'm afraid if I go in there, then that's what may go on for way too long. You know what, guys? Yeah, I'll just go ahead and save it for the next episode. And, uh, well, next time we'll hopefully speak with Michael. See what we can get out of him. Maybe find out more about that woman, uh, next door neighbor, George. See what else we can figure out here. So as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Blackwell Epiphany. I'll see you guys later.